there is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that try to trick our team. Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at another contained module tutorial. This time, we're going to be covering corners. So this one has been has gotten given a little people some trouble just because of it being a, a weird puzzle. But essentially, what this module looks like is these this module has um, four different colors of corners. In this case, being red, green, yellow, and blue. And what you're going to do is you're going to give the expert what corners each color is. So in this case. Looking at our corners, we have green, yellow, and yellow, green, in reading order. And so what we're going to do, and the only piece of information that we need from the edge work, is the last digit of the serial number, in this case being 9. So what exactly are we going to do with this last digit of the serial number being 9? This is going to be the starting location on the diagram here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the shortest path through the diagram that visits all of the remaining corners and touch them in order in which they occur on that path. Note that the last digit of the serial number, the corner that we start at, that's going to be the starting corner that we begin at. So let's find all of the nines and see which one has um, the corner that we can start with. And in this case, there's actually only one nine that pops up on here. So this is going to be it. Green is indeed in the top left. So this is going to be the first button that we press regardless of um, the path. So now what we're going to do is we are going to find the last three corners on this module, and we're going to figure out how we can get to them in the shortest way possible. So we have yellow in the top right, right here, yellow in the bottom left, right here, and green in the bottom right, right over here. So how exactly do we determine which is going to be how we can get the shortest path? So we're going to use these arrows to go to each different cell. And what you want to do is you want to essentially find the shortest path. So the way how this can be done is I'm going to start looking around here and I can see that, hey, we can go down here and then we go to the, we can go to the right then we can go to the right. Now, this part's actually a little bit interesting because we can essentially um, we need to figure out which one would be the shortest path here. So. I think we can figure out that this one going down to the next, going down to the yellow next is going to obviously be the solution. So let's do bottom left as our next press because we cannot go up and we can't go to this other yellow right over here. So that's pretty obvious of which we're going to next. So then we're going to keep following the arrows. This one going to the left, this one going down, this one going to the right, this one going to the right. Now, normally we would go, to, we, we would be able to go to the screen here, but we cannot go up from this bottom right corner cell. So we cannot go this way. So let's go up. Or actually, I'm wasting my time. Um, we can go down here, and then we can go to the right here, essentially. So now here's where things get a little bit interesting, because obviously we can go back, we can go up to this yellow cell, but still go back down to this green cell. So this is probably where the part that we have to, um, count the number of steps it would be to take in this path. So if we were to go right to this green, so we would be doing um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight would be if we took the bottom right path first. However, let's go to, let's go to this yellow first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And notice how that was indeed a that was indeed a shorter path to take. So that is obviously going to be the path that we are going to take in this case. So we're going to press um, top left, bottom left, top right, and then bottom right. So let's do that. So top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. And notice the LEDs will light up, but it will not strike you um, until you've hit all of them, if I recall correctly. And just like that is the solved module. Let's take a look at another example, as this is a little bit funky, but it's still definitely possible. Now, let me just make sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. I meant to solve there, but apparently I, I, I meant to strike there, excuse me, but apparently I did solve it. That's not it. So let me just see here. And why would that be? It does not reset on a strike. It does not reset the, um, the colors. So that is an important thing to know. So our last digit of the serial number is an eight. And our order is yellow, 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 blue. So starting on an eight, 
um, we obviously see that top left, and and this is a, this is another thing. If we happen to have two eights in the sequence, we obviously use the one that is indeed present on the mod. In this case, we don't have any greens present, so we would not use this eight. Quite simple. So we're going to be starting with top left first because the yellow is in the top left corner. And let's find the rest of our corners. We have yellow in the bottom left, we have yellow in the top right, and we have blue in the bottom right. This one actually looks rather quite simple. So what we can do is we can continue going right. And here's where things get a little bit interesting. So we need to figure out which one we want to take first. Do we want to go to these guys first, these two up here? Or do we want to go to the left first and then go back to the right? So let's figure that out. So we can obviously say, um, so we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we were to go to the left first with that, with the yellow in the bottom left, that would be seven moves. But if we were to go up twice, let's say, so we have one, uh, so we have one to the seven, two to the four, three to the two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is, and this is where cases like these are very important because it might seem like it takes, it might seem like it takes um, less to go up to these two, but it in fact does not. So the order that we would press on this module is bottom left, bottom right, and top right. And that's the order that we're going to press. Because we follow this path, we have seven, four, two, and we go to the three. Then we go back according to these arrows. As you can see here, we can go to the right, we can go to the right, we can go up, we can go to the left, and we can go back to the right, and we can go up, and we can go up. Simple as that. So always just pay attention for those arrows and try to, and always try to have, um, to take multiple paths, because this is probably one of the main things that screws with people a lot. And it's a quite simple module once you understand how this concept works. So let's solve the module. So we have top left, bottom left, bottom right, and top right. And just like that is indeed a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.